Father's Day is hurtling towards us once again, so you might find yourself in need of a greetings card for the big day. I'm sharing loads of inspiration for you on cards you can make with your Cricut machine in this video, and the best bit is they're all really quick to make. I will put the Design Space links for all of these cards in the description so you can find them all really easily, but let's just get straight to it with the first card. This one I'm cutting on my Cricut Joy using the card mat and the pre-cut insert cards. If you do spend any amount of time in Cricut Design Space looking at Father's Day cards, you will see that they like to categorize dads into different groups, like the DIY dad or the football dad or the barbecue dad. Well this card is for your DIY fanatic dad and it's really easy to make because you just have to allow the machine to cut the design and once it's done you place the insert card in through the slits. One thing to point out is that when you are placing the insert card in you'll see that there are actually two slits so what you want to do is slide your card from behind through the bigger slit and then back down through the smaller slit. This is also a card where the negative pieces that you cut out from the main card really wonderful pieces to use as decoration for your envelope so that's exactly what I've done. I've created a sort of border inside which I can write Dear Dad. The second card we are cutting also on the Cricut Joy using the card mat and the pre-cut cards. And this one I particularly love because once it's finished, it looks like it was so much more work than it actually really is. This card uses the fold and tuck method to complete the design. Once it's cut, you will see there are a series of triangular shapes and you want to start folding those down. And when you do that, you will see that you can tuck it behind a triangle that faces the other way, lower down on the card. So that's the fold and tuck method. So just do this across all of the card. When you're doing this for the two letter Ds, start from the lowest triangle and work your way up. And when you're done, it just looks absolutely incredible. I think this is the nicest card. This next card is the last one that I'll be showing using the Cricut Joy and the card mat. And for this card, we will need to use a couple of different Cricut Joy pens. Now in the original design, they use blue and yellow, but I decided to use silver and blue. And of course you can change it for whatever colors you want and think about how those colors will work on the color of card that you're working with. You don't want to use a very dark color on a dark card. So make sure just to place the pen into the clamp when Design Space prompts you to. And pretty soon this card will be done. Right, for the next three cards, I'm moving on to using my Cricut Maker and the 12x12 card mat. Card number four is one that will work best if you're using double-sided cardstock by which I mean the front is a different color to the back. Ideally, the back would be plain white and the front will be a color. If you have two different patterns, then the contrast might not be enough that when the card is finished, it just may not look very good. The card itself is really simple to make. Just get your mat loaded up with your cardstock and allow the machine to cut the design. And then you simply have to fold along the score lines. The only place where I slightly struggled is the score line for the very front of the card is quite narrow. So you want to be quite careful when you're folding that one. But other than that, it's a really simple card to make and it's another one that just looks like it's a lot more effort than it really was to make. This next card is for your gamer dad type. And actually, this one really speaks to me because I remember playing with controllers shaped like this when I was a lot younger. And I'm sure lots of dads will appreciate it too. This one is made of three layers. In the original design, it is gray, red and black. I chose to use a silver glitter cardstock that I had instead of a plain grey one and I think that looks really great. This is the first card I'm sharing that actually requires us to use glue and my advice would be to use the Barely Arts Craft Glue. It's a wonderful glue for card and paper crafting because it has a fine tip for application and it doesn't dry very quickly which means even once you've stuck your card down you can still wiggle it around a bit to get it into place. And once it is dry, it will go clear. So if you do end up smudging and getting glue in places that you don't want it to be seen, once it's dry, don't worry, no one will know. The final card I'm sharing is one where you get to really play around with the colors of cardstock that you might want to use. I decided to go with some different neon colored cardstock. I bought too much of this stuff for a different project and I just need to be able to find a way to use it, to be honest. But I do love the way that it looks, especially that layered look makes it just feel extra sumptuous. There you go, crafters. Six different options for your Father's Day greetings card crafting. I hope you like them. And if you choose to make one, then definitely tag me if you share it on Instagram, at Rabia Khans. I always love to see. If you need some inspiration on how to wrap any gift you're giving this year, check out this video all about Japanese-inspired gift wrapping. I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy crafting.